Gaming. Hey everybody, welcome back to Brandon's Ballistics. I'm your host, Brandon Barker, and well, today is the day that we are reviewing the Sig P20 and 9mm. Now this is not a 10 mil. that's going to come another day. Uh, one, I don't have enough daylight to do that video, I still got four other guns on this table I gotta do, so it's not going to be recorded today, it's going to be recorded sometime in the future. Same with the SKS, the AR-10, uh, there's a lot of guns that will be coming later, so <laughs> I got a lot to do, I'm, yeah, it, it's coming. Anyway. A lot of people, instead of going with uh, Glock, they go with SIG. And according to SIG fans, they say once you go SIG, you don't go back. Me, I'm a Glock guy. Sort of. I'm a Shadow Systems guy, which is like a Gucci Glock. I will say this, just first first grabbing this, it's more comfortable than a Glock. It feels lighter than a Glock. Now, how is that going to transfer to shooting? Uh I guess I'll find out. <laughs> There's not going to be an inside video. Once again, I've noticed uh, not a lot of people watch that those videos all the way through. Uh, the average view time on those, the videos are in between 12, uh, 12 and 15 minutes, and the average view time is 9 minutes. So, not a lot of people are watching uh, when they do. Uh, and that's when they do watch it. <laughs> so, I'm just going straight with the range. So, this is a, you know, a compact. So, this is not the full-size version. This is the compact version. Uh, so it's a lot easier to conceal carry. Give it a little bit of background to the gun before I start shooting. You do have a 15 round magazine, one in the chamber for a total of 16 rounds. Uh, of course, that is your standard magazine. Uh, but if you have a lot of problems, then uh, you can always go with something a little more fun. And yes, that did just get me demonetized. Uh, but yeah, just showing this got me demonetized. So yes, I'm doing this video for free. <laughs> Most of my videos are demonetized because if you if there's anything that has one of these in it. Anything that's not a standard magazine, anything that's over 20 rounds, then I'm doing the video for free. But I like showing that. So, you know, if, if you want to help keep, you know, Brandon's Ballistics up, uh, since, you know, I'm doing these videos without, with knowing I'm not going to get paid anything for it, no ads, no anything, uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, share, do all that stuff to be able to help fight against the YouTube algorithm that is greatly suppressing gun videos. Yes, you're seeing it when you're already subscribed, but people that are not subscribed don't see it. So bad thing with that anyway let's go back to the standard capacity magazine all right so the mag comparison wise we have the sig and the glock both of these are 15 rounds now how these are made up you see the base plates you got a bigger flat surface to be able to help you assist in that reload keep in mind sigs are also more expensive <laughs> for the most part uh buddy might got a real good deal still jealous i told him if he wasn't gonna buy it I was going to buy it on the spot. So I, I told him, if you pass it up, I'm buying it. So, but, yeah. Uh, anyway, lucky. <laughs> uh, so we do have a little bit of fatter base plate here on the Glock. So I guess that would protect more against, you know, falls. Uh, since if this is a bigger water surface, you fall on concrete. That does give a chance, a higher chance of a breaking. Uh, would that happen? Probably not. Uh, unless you drop this from a real high height. But then any mag probably will have the same kind of issues. As for longevity, uh, metal has a love-hate thing. So if there's no damage between polymer and metal, these are probably going to have less feeding issues and last longer. Metal mags are usually better. They usually run better. But, you know, where polymer mags, they will, they'll accept punishment, punishment, punishment until they just randomly break. You know, they have a breaking point. that They don't wear. These wear. So you can be using these, using it, using it, using it, and be wearing, 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 and you're not paying attention to your mag until one of these days they just stop working altogether. Polymer mags, uh, you just all of a sudden notice it's shooting two or three rounds at the top. <laughs> uh, I'm sure, I can't remember what video that was. Uh, it's one of the earlier videos. I had an old mag doing that. But yeah, uh, these polymer feed lips, uh, when they wear out, they you know don't hold the bullet in. Steel, uh, you can, you know, if they or just expand a little more, you can still move them back together, but you're starting to weaken the steel. If I had to go back, all right, Plus, pros and cons, heavier, lighter. Polymer's always lighter than steel. However, these will hold up to more uh, more punishment than these. So it depends on what I'm doing. If I wanted to pick a, you know, something to survive on, I want Metal Max. I'm just doing something, you know, going down the store to be able to do some uh, grocery shopping and I don't want to be unarmed in a place where lunatics do lunatic things. I want a Polymer Mag to each his own. Now the gun itself, uh, it feel this one anyway feels lighter than the Glock. Uh, sadly, I don't have a actual Glock 19 to compare it to. I have a Shadow Systems, and that's not exactly a fair comparison. Of course, my Shadow Systems is going to be way better than this, but it's like twice the price. So 
And once again, that's not a fair comparison. For the price point of this, uh, you know, you can't beat that. Uh, I can't say what the prices are. I will say uh, this costs half of what my Shadow Sisters did, uh, roughly. Roughly half. So I'd have, have a gun, he'd have a gun. If, if both of us only had that amount of money, then I wouldn't be able to get my Shadow Systems. So there's a trade-off there. Uh, and, you know, the cool thing about SIG, just like Glock, they stand behind their product. So if you do have a problem, send it in, they'll fix it. So, and since it's not transferring ownership, they'll melt back to your house. The only time you can get mail, you know, guns mailed directly to you is whenever it's transferring ownership from, like, say, gun store, you know, when they're buying a new to you. You have to go through an FFL. But if your gun's broken and you send it back to the manufacturer, well, guess what? You send it straight to them. They send it straight back to you. Or at least, that's how it is with Ruger. <laughs> now, you do have a Picatinny rail slot down here. So, you can put it on a weapon light. You could put on a laser. You could put on a bayonet. I'm going to get one of those to show why there's... If it's not obvious why those are stupid... I'll show y'all one day why those are stupid. Uh, if somebody's that close to you, you... I mean, I guess it's possible. Self-defense situations, it's usually pretty close. But anyway, yeah. I, that's what I'll, that's off topic. I'll, I'll just go back to topic. All right, let's go ahead and... So we're empty. So I, I'm going to pull the trigger this way. So you see, there's, there's that much slop in the trigger, which is not, it's not much. I like having some. Some people don't like any. I do like having some. I like to be able to pull it and hit a wall. Uh, if the wall's already there, I don't know if I have a jam or if there's something wrong. I like, I don't know why, personal preference. I just like a little tiny bit. So after you hit that wall, you then have, I can't remember what the trigger pull, it's not a three pound trigger pull, but you then come down to right there. So not very far travel. And you reset. I'm trying to be gentle. And it should be right there. So, you have a quick trigger and a quick reset, which should translate to wrong mag. Don't think I haven't got mags. I, I'm used to always grabbing Glocks. So, you know, at least I know this time I had the right mag, right? I'm just going to put this VDAE and, uh, you know, just it, it, it might. Oh no, this is 44 Magnum. What am I talking about? I have to put VDAE in it. Yeah. Uh, that's coming up, 58 Desert Eagle. And I love y'all. So it's been a lot of money. <laughs> Alrighty. As I was saying, that trigger should translate to quick trigger pulls. So you can get a very nice and very you know accurate sustain without it popping a lot. A lot of guns are snappy. This gun, I'll just kind of put right here on screen. It's not very snappy. I'll get it close to the camera. Uh, there we go. That's not bad. It went down Steven's shirt, but it's not that bad uh, as far as snappiness. Uh, of course, I was holding it a little off, so I'm not exactly in the right frame to be able to hold it exactly right. So I, I guess when I do the mag dump a little later from that angle, you'll be able to see more of what I'm talking about. Now, accuracy-wise, since it has a nice trigger, it should translate to decent accuracy. So, hope we got the target gallery. Let's uh, just pop a few things. What's on camera? Okay, I had to move the camera a little bit so you got to see the full gallery. So, uh, I shot three rounds, I believe. So, if my redneck math is correct, that should leave me with 12 rounds. No, then I, then I shot two here. So, that should leave me with 10. So, let's go ahead and plink around in a second. Missed a couple. That is definitely me. When I pulled, I knew I missed. So, uh, very, very comfortable. Very smooth shooting. Not very snappy. I can see why people like these over Glocks. I'm not saying they're better than Glocks. I'm still, I'm still, you know, I don't know. I go back and forth. It's not better than my Shadow Systems. I'll say it's better than... I'll take this over a regular Glock. Yes. I did just say that, and yes, I'm going to hear a lot of crap in the comments for it. I will take one of these over a regular Glock. I, I love SIGs. I do. I, even though I don't carry a SIG, uh, I mean, I might, I might start carrying a 10 mil. I don't know. Uh, it's, I, I just, I love that shadow system so much. Uh, this would need to have an RMR slot, and I would need to do a few things, and change grips, change trigger, and change a few things, change the change the sight. Now, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying, you know, to, to be able to be just as good on shadow systems, keep minus tw over twice the price uh, thereabout. 
Uh, but for the price, if I had to choose between this gun, you know, a uh, standard P29 mil or a not pictured Glock 19, uh, I would choose this. Yes. Uh, I can kind of see why people are going for SIGs over Glocks. Which is a lot to say because I talk a lot of good things about, you know, Glocks. But, I mean, I can tell. Uh, it seems to come standard with the extended magazine release. So it's, you know, or at least what I would consider extended. So it's real easy to be able to get, hit your mag release button to get your mag, uh, your mags changed. You do you do have the, uh, the slide cut out so where it's easy to strip it. If there, let's say there's a jam or some kind of issue. Well, luckily you can get your fingers in there to help you strip it. Now, uh, I, I would switch completely to SIG if the serration is lined up to my MCK. Because, uh, but, you know, these serrations are more like my shadow systems. They're more slanted than Glocks. So I can't use it for that. Now, the serrations, as far as reloading-wise, they are, uh, they're pronounced... Alright, so it depends on what you want. Me, I want the serrations to be more like Glocks. Glocks are more, they grab your skin. Uh... These are definitely sufficient. I guess I could have done it on camera. Uh, these are definitely sufficient. You can definitely get a good grip, uh, good grip on it, but it don't, it doesn't grab your skin. However, some people may not want that. Some people may, may want them more smoother. This is definitely sufficient, off camera, because uh, YouTube's YouTube. Uh, I gotta close the right thing off. <laughs> uh, striker fired, just like you know Glocks, and it's nice and compact. It's light. Now, I don't have the actual specs. Since I'm not doing the inside video anymore, I don't have the specs with me. So, I'm just doing the outside video. I would assume that these are lighter than Glocks. Uh, unloaded to unloaded. Or even loaded to loaded. Now, so, let's say... I, I can't put this in on camera because YouTube, YouTube, and YouTube sucks. Uh, but they are the biggest company around, so that's what I gotta deal with. So, I had to, put that on, I had to do that off camera because you can't insert a mag on camera. You can't... Rock around on camera. I do that off camera too. <sighs> a lot of lot of bad rules. I'm, I mean, I'm already demonetized. I'm just trying to not get a strike. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. I'm already demonetized. I'm trying to get a strike. Uh, let's go ahead and play around a little bit more. Okay. I was doing real good, the first magazine. Now I can't hit anything. It's like to kind of glimmer back up or something. I don't know what's going on. Uh, all right. Can you see the tree? No, I'm blocking the tree. Uh, behind, that's blocking. So there's, there's a dueling tree behind that. So I guess there's no point in trying to hit that. Just go and go for the gong. I don't know what it is about the reset on that. I'm good with I can do real good three rounds. I'm not able to do consistent high speed mag dump like I can with Glocks. Probably just because I'm used to a Glock trigger. I don't know if, it, if the trigger's better on this. I mean, it's not going to be better than the Shadow Systems, but than a traditional Glock. But I'm real good at getting those three rounds. But then I screw the rhythm up. So uh, let me get reloaded one more time, real fast. I'm going to do one more mag dump and then we'll uh, end the video. Give me a second. Okay, so now I'm loaded back up off camera, of course, because, uh, you know, even YouTube is more powerful than Gun Jesus and Gun Satan. So, or Ammo Satan and Ammo Jesus. Same same people, just different names. Like most religions, right? <laughs> uh, now that I opened up that can of worms, uh, let's go ahead and do a, another few little shots with this thing. Uh, well, I was just corrected. The Glock. The. Yeah, the truck's not on camera. He's it's a I live in a valley, so it echoes. Uh, but yeah, the Glock does weigh less than a Sig. It just it feels like this. I don't know if it's just because it's more comfortable or what. The grip, 
It's definitely, like, this feels way more comfortable than a Glock. But once again, that's subjective. So, it it really comes down to the subjective, uh, to your own personal thoughts, if the SIG is better than a Glock. If I had to choose one or the other over... If, all right, so if I can only have these two guns, uh, I can only have one gun, actually. If I can only have this or a Glock 19, and that had my gun the rest of my life, I would choose this. I'll just say it like that. Now, if I could choose this or Shadow Systems, it's going to be Shadow Systems. Or if this had a, a red dot, uh, or if I can just change, you know, if, if I just change the slide to get an RMR slide, uh, change these sights to where I can uh, have these be in tritium, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Then I'd be, you know, I would probably say this is just as efficient as my Shadow Systems. So, and I, that would probably come in less than Shadow Systems. But for some reason, I don't know if it's how I'm holding it. I, I go I go from being really accurate to not. Once again, everybody holds your gun differently. Uh, I do have to do an offset on this. Uh, so if I'm if this is a target, I'm aiming here to be able to hit. I'm aiming here to hit here. So it, it, it is a, a little bit off for me, but it's not off for the shooter who owns the gun, so I can't change those sights. All right. So uh, we are chambered, and uh, I guess we don't need to move the camera around. <laughs> yeah, waste of ammo, sure, but it's cheaper than a psychiatrist any day. Now, I don't know if that was considered good enough off camera since it was moving. I, I guess we'll leave that in and hopefully, uh, I think that's only demonetization. As long as I don't insert a magazine on camera, I think I'm fine. But yeah, uh, it's, sure, I, I constantly get, you know, told a lot, oh, you should be trying to hit the turtle and never see her around. You should, I'm just having fun. Uh, it's cheaper than a psychiatrist. It's, it's cheaper than, you know, going on vacation. It's, you know, this is the ultimate stress. A, a mag dump is a stress reliever, and it puts a smile on your face. If, if if you can sit there and mag dump like that and actually truly feel that way, then you need more help than, you know, probably what you can afford to get. <laughs> you might then need professional help. But doing mag dumps, just putting a lot of rounds down range, especially when I can find some cheap ammo on sale, uh, it brings a smile on my face. Anyway... Tell me, what are your thoughts on the SIG P20? Uh, 9mm version, not the 10mm. 10mm is going to come another day. But, like I said, I'm, if if I had a choice between this and a Glock 19, I would go with this. Now, that's going to bring up a lot of arguments in the comment section. Just all I ask is people be polite and respectful. Uh, just because somebody don't like the gun you like doesn't mean that they're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you know they should call, be called names. So, be polite down there. And I would love to be able to hear everybody's thoughts on uh, you know on Sig P20, Pig 320 versus a Glock 19. Anyway, make sure to like this video. Uh, it's very very important. Oh, code word. I always forget code word. Sig. I don't know. Sour. Uh, six sour. So it says Sig because I'm pretty sure I already did Sig. It's going to be S A U E R. So I'm pretty sure this month I've already used Sig, so I can't use it again. Uh, I'm trying not to reuse code words. So it's going to be you know sour. The second part to that. Now, make sure that you liked, shared, comment, and you're subscribed. Once again, that's all that stuff is needed for the giveaway anyway. So it's just a nice little reminder. Uh, go ahead and follow me over there on Utreon as well. Subscribe over there because there is some uh, Utreon-only videos because YouTube would literally delete my account if I uploaded things I upload on Utreon, including a volleyball cannon. I did I, I, I do the teaser videos here on YouTube to be able to you know keep people over there. Uh, every weekend I do a range day. Those are also on there. You can see little teasers here on YouTube. You see the volleyball cannon or neutron. You get to see a lot of cool things. Think about and supporting the channel by you know, subscribing at any one of those tier levels, uh, or even helping out in any any other way, shape, or form you can. Uh, if you want to mail me something, holler at me. Love to be able to see it. Uh, same thing with uh, fan mail and drawings. Uh, Corey Kitchen's daughter. I should have had it here on camera. Uh, I'll do that in the live stream. Uh, it, my my youngest viewer is two years old, and. It was funny because the first time she saw me, uh, she's like, Mommy, that's the guy I see on TV. And all of a sudden went, Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm a star. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, she made a rainbow drawing, and I'm going to show it off. I keep forgetting, but, yeah, I'm going to show that off. Uh, I just think that's fun. But, yeah, uh, fan drawings, fan mail, stuff like that, that would make my day. So, definitely give me a holler. Anyway, I love y'all to death, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, I did it again wrong. My uh, European... Uh, viewers told me this is basically F you to everywhere else outside the United States. So, I have to do it. 
like a Japanese schoolgirl. <laughs> no, uh, all right, peace.